Good morning. Today is day eight. We are doing about 15 and a half miles today, but we're staying in a hostel with a pool because it's supposed to be 92 degrees this afternoon. Um, the plan was to leave at six. It's like 7.30, but I've been walking for at least half a mile. Um, some of them did actually leave at 6.15. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can get there before it gets too hot. Relax by the pool. And so, we'll see what all is in store for today. That's kind of gross. Look, an actual trail, guys. Woohoo! All right, so I don't know if you'll notice, I um, I only talk to my camera when it's just me. I So when I'm in public places, I film, but I, uh, I always just put like a caption of what I'm looking at or what I'm seeing, because I just don't want to take away from other people's walk or experience by <laughs> being that person that's talking to the camera and, then of course I always, I try to ask like, the people I'm walking with if they wanna be on camera or not. I try not to film their faces um, as much as possible. Um, you know, kind of thing just to like respect that. Cause not everybody, not everybody likes to be on the camera and not everybody likes uh, everything posted on the internet. So if you're wondering why, my, why I do my videos the way I do right now, I'm walking by myself. So I'm filming and talking, but if there's no talking, uh, that's usually because I am in a public place with other people and I don't have the option to do a voiceover, but I'm staying in hostels and so that would require me talking in my headphones, in the room and all that kind of stuff too. So I just don't want to distract from people's experience and time. So that's why my videos are the way they are.
Also, I've officially hit 100 miles. Uh, I think it was like a mile and a half back, so I didn't do a mile marker because there's not really any out here, but yep, 100 miles down, only 370 to go. stare down has begun <laughs> who will break first me or the sheep <laughs> also I get to go up up that road spicy little climb coming into Calvinos at a 10% grade, but less busy road, less chances of getting hit by a car. So far everything's been closed. Will this be open? Will I be able to get some water? Yes. The answer is yes. All right, so I made the decision all ago to jump off the Camino to go into this town to get water because it's out of water and it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> but the road down there, is not safe so I'm on some random road that should cut me back to the Camino just was like looking at GPS maps I don't have to like backtrack but still doing a continuous footpath um, yeah so we'll see but it's only like half a mile so it should be fine but take my chances with the woods than with a busy road um, with semis or tractor trailers. So here we go. This is my path. Hopefully it's not too overgrown all the way or down here, but probably still safer. These trees are nice. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh. 
to get into um, get into New Mexico, and that was like one of the most beautiful like drives ever. There were a ton of flowers, a ton of like nice bushes and stuff that yeah. like, kind of combined. The we have arrived. Still plenty of time for the pool. is this place? Did you get a connection? Uh, or are you filming? I'm filming. <laughs> 